Hi guys, Miss H here, creator of Meg's Music Room. Today we're gonna to be playing a fun new game, but before we do, let's review what we need to know in order to win. The game we're playing today is called Wolf Tracker. Wolf Tracker is one of my favorites. It's perfect for after you finish Peter and the Wolf, you can study the names of the instruments and what they look like and become an expert. In Peter and the Wolf, we used all four families of instruments. So we learned about the woodwind family, the brass family, the string family, and the percussion family. Most of the instruments from Peter and the Wolf were in the woodwind family. So let's review those first. The bird is played by the flute. So here's a picture of the flute. The duck was played by the oboe. So here's a picture of the oboe. Next, the cat is played by the clarinet. Here's a picture of the clarinet. Notice how it looks similar to the oboe, but the clarinet has a wider mouthpiece and the oboe has a really narrow mouthpiece. The last instrument in the woodwind family is the bassoon. Grandfather was played by the bassoon. It's the biggest instrument in the woodwind family. Next is the brass family. In Peter and the Wolf, we only really concentrate on one brass instrument. That's the French horn. The wolf is played by the French horn. So here is a picture of the French horn. For the string section in Peter and the Wolf, we once again only concentrate on one instrument, the violin. But if you listen in the music, you can actually hear the whole string family. Let's just concentrate on the violin for now. The violin made the music for Peter. The hunters are played by the percussion family. This is represented in this game by the timpani. Here is a picture of the timpani. All right, so now you know the names of all the instruments that you need for the game. So here is what the game looks like. You go to page two, it gives you the directions. Page three begins the story. You click here to continue the, to the game. This is the map. So every time someone answers a question right, they advance. So there's four teams right here. Every time you get one right, you get to start the path. And then when you get to this final stone, you win the game and then you'll click on the duck. This is the game board. You go to this one after each question and there are links on every page, so it's easy. You click on the number for the question. Then it tells you the question. You have three choices. Then to reveal the answer, you click on the duck. I'm not going to show you that because I want you to play the game. Then you click here after answering. You, if team D answered it right, you grab it and bring it there. Then if team D answered it right, but they're the only ones, then you drag up their little picture up to their quadrant right there. And then you keep on going through the whole game when you get done with 14. If there are still nobody that's won the whole game, you go back. Since three people got question number one wrong, you would go back and do number one. If everyone got number two correct, skip that one. Everyone gets to answer every time, even if they already answered it right. And if they answer it right, then they get to advance to the next stone, even if they answered it right before. So you keep going through the game, and that's how you play. Teachers, while you're showing this to your class, pause the video here so that you can start the game. So to make this the easiest sub plan ever, you share the link above with your sub and you download the game that's in the description below. So once you have those two things, that's all you need. This will take about 25, 30 minutes for most classes. Uh, it can take more. I've had it take up to 45 or 50 minutes. I hope this video has helped you out. Check out the links in the description below to follow me on Facebook and other social media sites and to find more of my music class videos. 
I have also added links to a few games and activities I have made to help you learn the most important concepts in music. Thank you for watching, and remember, Meg's Music Room, a music teacher's best friend.